Okay, everybody, hear me out for just a second. There is a new golf club on the market and I keep hearing rave reviews claiming it is the best, most forgiving golf club of the year. Well, in today's video, I'm going to put those reviews to the test and see if this really is the best forgiving fairway wood of 2023. Because you see, I honestly think that a fairway wood at the moment is a little bit of a forgotten club when it comes to forgiveness, when it comes to what club you should have in your bag. And certainly when it comes to hitting more fairways and potentially even greens on those long par threes, if that's what you struggle with. Enter Callaway Paradigm Fairway Wood together with its AI design jailbreak with its forged carbon sole and its triaxle carbon weave crown. From what I keep hearing about this, I just had to give it a go. So I'm out here on the golf course and I've also been in the simulator on the Golf Sun 2 Vision. And I must admit, opening impressions, oh yeah, that was absolutely gorgeous. So you see, this isn't a triple diamond fairway wood, it isn't a Paradigm X, it's the nice kind of sibling in the middle, the one that's going to give you that forgiveness, but still the versatility still has that adjustable hosel, still has loads and loads of technology on it. I mean, look at that face. It's quite a shallow face, actually, which I really, really like the look of and the feel of and the sound of. Never mind that ball flight that we just had, because that really was something else. Looking down at this club, I love that carbon crown. I love how it's got a little bit of a kind of defense on the front there, very similar to the old tailor-made M2s. And I really like how you can see it's kind of clipped on at the back. I don't know, for me, that just gives it a little bit of a more industrial look which is never a bad thing in a golf club. Can we hit the same shot again? Consistency is key and the reviews have all been good. Oh, yes, please. That was even a bit toey, but it just sounded. I'm going to re that's gone miles as well, by the way. I'm going to replay you that sound. I'm going to replay you that sound because that was absolutely gorgeous. And I know a lot of you guys at home aren't really bothered about how a club looks, how it sounds. It's all about the performance. So make sure you don't go anywhere because we're going to jump in the simulator and test this bad boy for forgiveness, for ball speed, for spin rate, for distance, for everything. Wow, this is going to be massive. That's just that nice middle ground between both those shots. And that's pitching further. There's a certain number I want this to hit. I'm kind of hoping it does. Okay, so you now join us in quite an interesting position. This is a very, very long par four into the wind uphill. We have 230, maybe a bit more actually. Maybe I'm too far out, but we will find out because this is the kind of place where you want a nice forgiving three or do you want to get up towards that green? You might not hit the green, but if you can give yourself a chance at up and down and a chance at saving par, that's exactly what you want from a club like this. We're going to totally forget the bad tee shot on the last, because that can happen to anyone. I do like to leave those in actually, so you can see them. I mean, I've hit that so good. That hasn't moved in the air. Lovely high launch. Oh wow, it's gone long. <laughs> There's me thinking I'm too far away. You can see that ball just on the bank at the back there. That has gone like an absolute rocket. Maybe the rave reviews were right. Right, I'm going to stay here though, because I want to see if that's, if that's actually consistent and possible again. I wasn't considering putting this in the bag, you know, but if you hit shots like that... Ah, that one's a little bit to the right. Still felt great though. Is it going to be up there? You know what, that's... I'm, I can't wait. I'm more impressed with that one than I am the good swing. And that's a really important factor to think about when you are testing clubs like this. What's it like on the bad shot? Yes, we can all top a fairway wood, can we? But when you just miss it, when you think, right, that one would have been salvageable, I suppose, still launch high, still went the distance, which I really like. And that one as well couple of average golf swings today but you know what if that is a result from an average golf swing maybe the reviews are right guys let's jump in the golf swing simulator let's see just how this did perform for numbers and i've got an extra special test to finish on okay all i'm hearing is rave reviews about this bad boy paradigm three wood just a standard version let's see how good this really is Oh, it's a good start. It is a solid start. That felt 
incredible. Lovely high ball flight as well. That's up there around 250, 248. Not a bad number for me there, personally. I'm sure we've got longer than that though. Let's get that ball flight down. Oh, that's a miss hit. This is the one I really wanted to test. That's bottomy, and look at that. That is big. This is where this technology really can come in well, and this is what I was speaking about on the golf course as well. Sometimes, like I've caught that, not great, but it's dipped the spin on it, maintained ball speed. Oh, this is gonna be massive. That's just that nice middle ground between both those shots, and that's pitching further. Pitch 253, still running up towards 270. Again, just a lovely number, a lovely big high fade as well. Spinning at 3-2, big fan of that, but also a big fan of those left to right ball flights. This could be as good as they say. Look at that again. That's Toey, so that's why it's turning over a touch. That might have lost some ball speed, but it's still, still pitched at 250, that for me, my driver pitch is around 275, so when I nail this, it's up around 260. When I don't quite get it, 250. That still ran out to 261 yards. Don't mind that. I've really got that one. I love you can get that low one out of it, you know. That's the longest one so far. 268. Now let's go a couple more. Let's jump back out on the golf course. Let's see how workable this bad boy is. It's a funny one, you know, because when the driver's that good, often the fairway wood disappoints, it lets down. This one, I really don't think it does. Consistency-wise, I am all over this. I'm gonna play one more and try and play a really low one. Just get it, like a knuckleball out there. Like that. Look at that. Bang straight, knuckleball. Is it up there? Just didn't have the launch, but it's still 266. Guys, let's jump back on the golf course and see if the hype is worth listening to. So for two pretty average golf swings and one, well, exceptional golf swing, I'm really happy with where these balls have finished from such a long distance out. We've got a chance, albeit a very difficult chance, of getting up and down for par. Guys, those numbers were really, really consistent in the golf sun simulator. I absolutely love that. Now we've got an extra special challenge, downhill, par five, can we hit three wood off the tee? And hopefully, can we hit three wood from the fairway and try and get on this green in two? Or like I said earlier, there or thereabouts in two and give yourself a chance for a birdie. I'm actually gonna tee off with this from the ground because to be honest, I much preferred it from the ground than off the tee, which I don't really say much about fairways, but the elongated back on this just kind of makes it feel almost a bit like, I don't know, a cheat code. Look at that. I mean, I've cut across that a little bit, but it's still not bad. And I think another one of those gets us there or thereabouts. Forgiveness, as long as you hit the face, there or thereabouts. Right, okay, so because that was a little bit of a cutty ball flight, we're left with probably quite a long way in now. The ideal line is just to the left-hand side of those bushes, and I'm actually on a downhill slope, downwind downhill. So realistically, distance shouldn't be an issue. Lots of videos filmed today, guys, if you do want to hit that subscribe button and see more. And you see, it's quite a funny one because usually when I would grade, assess, or review a fairway wood, I'd be thinking about versatility. I'd be thinking about, can I pick my ball flight? Can I play a stinger? Can I play it nice and high? Whereas with this one, that's sort of gone out the window a little bit. I don't feel like I've got the confidence to be able to do that with this, but I feel like I have got the confidence to stand there, just make a generic golf swing, and it's gonna do pretty much exactly what you want it to do, a nice mid boring flight with the right amount of spin on it and not too much dispersion. Right, come on, disperse towards the flag. Oh, look at that. That is a thing of beauty, just kick to the right now. Again, that wasn't the best strike. I'm gonna say that was just a touch out the heel, but I honestly think, I mean, that sounds incredible. I'm gonna replay that sound once again for you. And that wasn't hit out the middle. Can't wait to see if that's down there. We can see that just on the left side. It didn't take the kick right that I wanted, but for two, three woods off the tee in the fairway, we are pretty much flag high. I'll go as far as saying we're a good kick away from a really good eagle chance. Unfortunately, we didn't get that kick. 
but we can try and get as close as we can for the birdie. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed that review of what I think could be what a lot of people may think is overrated, but in fact makes it underrated. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. I'll see you all exactly the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.